Think about it. Why do you want to improve your relationship with food? Why do you want to break free from dieting? Why do you want to not be obsessed with food? You want all of this because you want to feel more confident, because you want more time to focus on the more important things in life, because you want to be able to enjoy life, because you want to be able to enjoy time with friends and family without constantly thinking about what you're supposed to eat and how much you're supposed to eat. And you might not yet completely understand the idea of what it feels like to nourish your body and to not be thinking about food at all and to not be mindful about food. So this might be something totally new to you. Chances are that this might be happening to you because you are not doing this one thing. You are most probably thinking what happens once I stop dieting? So what happens once I don't have any food rules anymore? How am I supposed to eat? How am I supposed to know when I should eat? How much I should eat? How I should eat? Once you don't have any food rules, you might feel like you are completely lost. So you might be actually creating new food rules in your head without even realizing it. On your way to eating healthy and nourishing your body, you might be thinking, oh, this is what I'm supposed to eat and this is how much I'm supposed to eat. So this is my new lifestyle. So you may end up eventually creating a bunch of new rules, a whole new diet behavior around something which is supposed to set you free from dieting, something which is supposed to help you stop restricting food and stop being so obsessed with it. So you might realize that you are in that phase of your journey where you have just created new rules in your head. You might be thinking, how am I supposed to know when I am hungry, when I am full, I am constantly overeating, I'm constantly thinking about food, I'm just going crazy. Chances are that this might be happening to you because you are not doing this one thing. You keep going from a place of should. So you keep making decisions related to food from a place of what you should be doing that means that you are thinking oh i am now not dieting so now i'm going to embrace food freedom so i should be eating this or i should be eating at that time or i should be eating like that what if we change that what if we think in the following way what is the most helpful thing that i can do right now so instead of saying should i should be doing this ask yourself take a step back and ask yourself what is the most helpful thing that i can do for myself right now, coming from a place of self-care. So it is really a matter of changing your perspective and a matter of coming from a place of self-love instead of a place of what you should be doing or what is considered right. Imagine the following situation. Marie, let's say we have a girl and her name is Marie. Marie wakes up one day and then she's completely not hungry. So she really doesn't feel like breakfast, but she knows that she has an entire day of work in front of her. So she knows that she needs to be at work from 7 a.m. until at least 5 p.m. And it's going to be a very long and very intensive day. What is the best thing that she can do at that moment? Imagine another situation. Marie wakes up one morning and she's completely not hungry and she has a whole day of relaxing. She doesn't have any plans. She's going to just chill the entire day. What is the best thing that she can do for herself in that situation? Or Marie wakes up one day and she's super hungry, but she has an appointment in 45 minutes and she really, really needs to run. However, she knows that afterwards she has a really busy day and she most probably won't even have time to take a break. What is the best thing that she can do in that situation? So you see, the situation is in all cases the same. She wakes up in the morning and either she's hungry or she's not. But depending on what her day looks like, what she has planned, how much time she has available, there are things that she can do best in each of these situations are very different depending on the specific situation. Look at it from that perspective. Your life in your days are going to vary. So you're a human being. Every day there is something popping up, life happens, you know. Always take a step back and think from the perspective of that specific moment. What is the best thing that I can do for myself in that specific moment? And make a decision from there. What is the best thing that I can eat? What is the thing that is the most helpful for me in that moment? What is the thing that is going to help me the most in that moment? How do I know what I'm supposed to eat? What is the thing that is going to be most helpful to me at the moment? If I'm out with friends and I am about to enjoy a great delicious dinner at a super nice new restaurant, what is the most helpful thing that I can do for myself? I can choose to enjoy my evening, enjoy life and order some amazing food and have a great evening. Or I can choose to order a dry chicken breast and go home without having experienced true satisfaction and not even being able to focus on the conversation with my friends because I was hungry and envious on 
the food on their plates. What is the most helpful thing that you can do in that situation? Or if you know that you're going to have a super busy day and you wake up in the morning and you're completely not hungry, but you know that you just won't have time to take a break, what is the best thing that you can do in that situation? You're better off grabbing something, even a little bit of food, or taking a smoothie with yourself in a bottle which you can sip throughout the day. Taking a sandwich which you can eat in like 15 minutes somewhere in between your appointments or preparing something which is easy to snack on, something which is quick and you can eat on the bus on your way to work. The most helpful thing that you can do for yourself in any specific moment comes from a place of self-care. Thinking about it and seeing different situations, different foods, different choices that you can make from a place of self-care instead of a place of what you should be doing is going to be extremely helpful to you when you try to navigate towards a healthy and more balanced relationship with food. If you really want to fix your relationship with food, you need to always come from a place of self-love. So if this is something that you resonate with and if you're somebody who has been trying to get rid of the dieting mindset, who has been trying to recover their relationship with food, who's been trying to build a more healthy and balanced relationship with food, but you just don't know where to start, then I highly encourage you to download my free guide. It has five simple, easy steps you can apply right now to reach your dream physique without dieting, without hunger and without restricting food. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because every week I post videos on the topic of reaching total food freedom while having a fit body and while being confident in your skin. So if you're interested and if this is something you can relate to, then you should definitely stick around. Like this video if you did and also let me know what your biggest struggles are around food down in the comments below and I will see you next week. Bye guys.